is my blade! Hi right, guys, Josh Manchester Phoenix and we're back for Final Fantasy Walkthrough Part 6 and we are in the guise of playing still trying to get this Shade Stone to become Sunstone. Uh, probably the easiest quest in the game. And I uh, look little bunny, look little bunny go. Yeah, fucking weird bunny. I mean, uh, that that that's just an effed up bunny. But here's the Final Fantasy Universal. All, uh, all animals or creatures in this game based on real world animals look absolutely effed up like this hyena uh, <clears throat> I don't I have never seen a hyena in real life with a horn which is like sticking right out of its head they and it's also got saber tooth teeth I never realized that okay that, that's a, that's an interesting and Vine just leveled up which is pretty cool and uh, I actually come back because I think there's a church chest behind here this one's safe uh, as I said I'll tell you which ones aren't safe so uh, you know any chest that I haven't said anything about then go ahead and grab it but if I have don't touch it so uh, we're still trying to get this energy bar filled up but the next stone I find and I'm I don't know if these are fixed or if each game's different if, if it's random if they done something so it's random in each game or it's random every time you start a new game I'm not particularly sure uh, <clears throat> but this one gave me nearly all of the energy I needed and me and Penella are absolutely two time in this hyena and boo yakasha uh, now since you do have Penello it's easier to kill enemies uh, in this game uh, which means uh, yes you get experience but um the only thing with that is that you share the XP um, with Pinello, you don't get all of it. So uh, once you get more party members, <coughs> and when you get the full set, everyone has, uh, everyone shares the XP. Everyone gets a little bit of it, which is annoying. But um, we, I will be making sure I get some um, accessories which double the XP you're given. Of uh, it, of course, it only works for the one character. <clears throat> so we're going to have to get multiple ones. Um, and offline party members do get XP. If you're not actually using them, <clears throat> uh, but they're in your party, then um, they're still going to get XP. That's why it's shared out between them all, and that's why you should keep the accessory on the ones that are offline. As you can see there, um, that is a Bagner, I think they're called. I've forgotten what they're called already. Um, but uh, he's good. He's cool. Uh, he, don't attack him. He's got a great... I mean, you can if you want, but there wouldn't be much point. He actually helps you. He goes around killing them. And I didn't even know that one was there, actually. And there's a few of those guys around the game. Um, different areas. And uh, they all help you. You can kill them, like I said, but there wouldn't be much point. And holy cow, it's, that guy's massive. So, I think this is our last stone, actually. Nearly there with the sunstone. Nearly there. Just got to do this one. And give it back to Jin. Jin Jin reminds me of Tekken 6. Booyaka Shou Shou! And we get the full 100%, I think, now. <clears throat> yep. So I only took three. There are more than three of these big stones. But um, don't worry, it's not like you're going to go around all four and not get the total amount. I'm sorry there guys, I have my TV on, I keep getting distracted. So now we have our sunstone, we just got to go back and see Jin. <coughs> oh, oh yeah, of course, I've got to it sort of takes you there straight away. You got the sunstone, that's great! Seems okay to me, so here's what happened. <coughs> as I say, as I usually say, just pause if you really want to read it. Uh, he's just telling you how his leg hurt. Oh, look, 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 it's miraculously okay now. Well, 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 well. You know what? I think this kid was plotting to make us do it. And he runs like a girl. He runs like a girl. Yeah. He runs like a girl. So, uh, we're taken straight back to the village, which is really cool. You don't have to bother walking all the way around to the village again. And you get a little story. And there's the Cluckle Farm again, where you get one of your hunts. But we won't be getting that for a while, sadly. Uh, no, no items that are of great significance. You get some items that help you, uh, <coughs> help you in the uh, on the ground when we start going to the palace. 
uh, like antidotes. Uh, you can buy them now if you want. You can sell some things if you killed a lot of creatures. I'm just going straight back to Ravenaster after buying a map from a Moogle. Because I want the map. Now, I heard that if you get all the maps, you get something. I don't know what it is. If you get all the maps, then you're given something by someone, but I'm not sure. I might be sure, I'm not sure. Can you guys comment if you uh, if that's right? If you get all the, the maps fully shown, or if you bought them. I'm, I'm sure I read it somewhere that you get something for doing it, but I'm not sure. So, we are out of here. There's actually a hunt um, that I have never done, but I want to do. Uh, and I can't remember what his name is, but he has Cloud Strife Sword, uh, the buster. And he also, uh, he's like he's actually like a guy, but he's got eight arms or something, I think. And like he holds uh, other swords from other Final Fantasies. Now, there's a lot of, uh, in this game, there are a lot of hints to other games. Um, <clears throat> of course, I... Uh, the only reason I know that is because I went on this movie database. <laughs> uh, all you got to do is type in IMDB on Google and then type in Final Fantasy XII. It'll actually come up as Farron Room in there. I don't know, I think it's in Japanese, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not actually Final Fantasy. And then you can go on Trivia and it tells you all the different trivia, trivial things about its game and who played all the characters. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going back to see old Dallin. Which spawns a cutscene, I think, just before we go in there, so I'm going to shut up now. Hey, Vaughn? Hmm? Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important, and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile, very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Okay, guys, so very long cutscene cutscenes there. Uh, so, Penelo has now left us alone. She was actually meant to be guarding the store. 
tut 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 is all I can say. Uh, so now we have our, uh, our our little magic gem, uh, so we can get into the palace. Oh, hello, another cutscene. <sighs> Squads three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. Hmm, mysterious woman. I wonder who that could be. Well, I'm sure we'll be finding that soon. I'd like to know how Vossler made it out of the Nalbanian fortress, or Nalbania fortress, alive, and yet Barsh didn't. I don't understand. That's that's strange. Vossler, Vossler is um quite a lot of suspicion around Vossler at this moment in the game. And again, uh, because this was a live commentary, I was doing do not take that chest. Do not take it! Otherwise you would never get the Zodiac Spear! And it's like the most ultimate weapon! Um, I'm actually uh, going to talk about what, gun uh, what weapons I'm going to be using. I might have mentioned this already. I am going to be using uh, one character. We, we haven't met all the characters yet, but I'll be using guns. Bows and swords. No axes, no rods. I will be doing magic. One character, I will use someone for magic. Um, the reason I'm doing guns and bows is because I've never done them before. I know I showed you the video how to get Sagittarius bow, uh, which is on my account. Just uh, go on the playlists and it says hints and tips for Final Fantasy. Or you could go all the way down to the bottom of my videos. It's there because it was the first video I'd done. No, 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 the fourth. Um, I might, there is a certain point in the game where you get a very good mace, uh, and it's guaranteed, so I may get a few of them, uh, just because they're powerful, it depends. But yes, I am getting guns, uh, so I will be getting the strongest gun in the game, uh, as well as the strongest bow. Sadly, uh, because this isn't the international version, I can't get the noob noobiest, well, not I wouldn't say noobiest, uh, uber bow, as I like to call it, the Serengeti, I think it's called, uh, but you only get that in the international version. Um, and you can get as many as you want. They do even more damage than the Zodiac Spear. Uh, but even if I could get it, I wouldn't because it, it takes out every enemy in one hit, which uh, it would be a bit boring for you guys. So you know, as uh, as we've uh, as I've already said in the other games, um, other parts, uh, it's been decided for me to level up normally, which I will be doing. Uh, so we'll find the guns naturally in the game and the weapons, and we progress like that. Uh, there will be some parts in my, even in my live commentary where I'm just going to say I'll meet you back here because obviously it might be quite a long, uh, quite a long journey to wherever we need to go, and I might deem it not necessary to show it all. But uh, for now, guys, I'm going to end this apart. I know it was a bit shorter than the others, uh, probably uh, obviously because this was before I knew what was going to happen and all of that, you know. So uh, we'll be back in part 7, and part 7 onwards will be live commentaries. Live, live commentaries, now I know what I'm going to be doing. So in part 7 we'll be going into the palace. Um, I might do some off-screen grinding before that, just to get Van a little bit higher. So yeah, I've got uh, look forward to that. We're going to enter the palace and see what we can find in there. Okay guys, well I'll see you later. Uh, please um, comment, thumbs up and subscribe and I will talk to you in part